Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can stabilize a shaky and wobbly video in DaVinci Resolve 19. And this is my clip over here and you can see it's quite shaky. I was following my couple here and you can see it's a little bit shaky. It's not that bad. So I'm sure we can fix it. But first of all, what I would recommend you to do just select the clip you want to stabilize. So I think this is a very good portion of the clip until the camera just moves too much to the left. So I think just over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press B and just cut this portion of the clip and remove it. So I want to stabilize this portion of the clip, you see? It's not that bad. So in order to stabilize a clip in DaVinci Resolve, what you have to go and do, you have to go over here to Inspector. If it's not toggled on, go and toggle Inspector on, right? And then go to Video. And under Video, you'll have a lot of settings, okay? Go to Stabilization, right? Now you see it's toggled off. Just toggle it on and you have three modes over here. All three of them have different algorithms on how they work. Now, perspective, obviously, it's going to use the perspective to see what's the best way to stabilize. Similarity is going to use the same movement of the camera and translation. Obviously, it's going to do something in between perspective and similarity. Um, but it works quite well from the start. Um, but anyway, it's not magic, so you have to try and play with it. I'm going to quickly explain what camera lock is and what zoom is. So basically, camera lock is, it actually makes the impression that the camera is on a tripod. It's very, very heavy, so you have to be careful with this. And zoom is actually, it zooms in the shot, so you don't have the black bars around here. Let me show you. So basically, let's say if you don't toggle the zoom on and you put camera lock and you press stabilize, you see what's going to happen. So I'm going to play the clip now. You see? But if you press and toggle zoom on, then you see straight away it zooms in and then you don't have that um, black space over there. And let's have a look now. I mean, straight away it looks pretty good. I'm quite surprised it actually works straight away. But let's assume you don't want to have the camera locked. Now you want to get more settings over here because if you press camera lock now you won't have any settings you can't change anything but if you toggle this off then you have the uh, the cropping ratio on you can move the cropping ratio you can have it smoother or less smoother and the strength as well so let's go and stabilize in the perspective mode and then it's already stabilized play it quite shaky let me go and do similarity It's not bad and let me go and do translation as you can see more or less they they have the same purpose but then you have to go and see which one works better for you you see it's pretty good and um, and let's say you want to make it even smoother so the smoother you're gonna make your shot to look the more cropping ratio is going to apply or the more zoom is going to apply just have a look so i press stabilize and then straight away it zoomed in a little bit so you have to take this into account obviously if you are on a wide angle shot it's fine you can zoom in a little bit but if you don't have a lot of room to play with you have to be careful okay so let's have a look now it's much much better let me go to perspective most of the time, I have to admit, I'll use perspective. And if because perspective, I think it uses both worlds. And most of the time, it works the best. You see? It's very, very good. And if I'm going to use camera lock again and go stabilize, let's have a look again with camera lock. It's good, it's good, but I think it's a bit too much the camera lock. But so you have to play around with the settings. Maybe I want the strength a little bit more and I want the cropping ratio just a little bit less. So I'm gonna go and click stabilize again, boom. And you see it cropped in even more because I want it to have it smoother and I want the strength even more. So let's see, you see, 
it's so so much smoother now and one more thing to tell you if you see that the, it's not stabilizing enough or it doesn't work what you have to go and do you have to go to playback plus on playback go to render cache now you see i'm rendering none but if you want to render it straight away go and press smart render and it's going to render straight away and you will have the final result otherwise go to playback render cache do none and then go to render cache delete render cache selected clips and it's going to delete the cache before and now it's going to take effect with the new settings that you've applied so for me personally this works best so perspective cropping ratio 0.4 this settings on this shot works best one tip to you never use stabilization on a gimbal if your camera has in stabilization then just disable it never use stabilization on your camera with a gimbal that's the main rule you have to keep in mind and let me show you now the difference if i'm gonna go here now i'm gonna split this clip in two i'm gonna go and add a video transition and edge edge wipe put the edge wipe here go to transition 1.5 is works for me better and the angle i'm gonna do 90 angle i'm gonna do border 15 and color black and in and out so now let me show you the difference between non-stabilized so now i have to go and go to video and i have to switch off stabilization so now the first clip is going to be non-stabilized and then the second one is going to be stabilized so let's see the difference i'm going to go a little bit longer so i'm going to do the transition a bit smaller so we can have more clip to watch at so i'll make the bigger screen it's pretty cool isn't it so let me make it a little bit longer and this one i'll make a little bit longer so let's see let's watch now from the beginning non-stabilized clip and boom stabilized clip and one more cool thing you can do actually you can go and plus command r and you can go actually slow it down because i shot this in 60 frames per second i can go and slow it down to 40 percent okay 40 percent given the fact that my yeah my playback frame rate is 23 frames per second so look what's happening now when you slow down a clip it it automatically becomes a bit more smoother let's watch again and look at this perfection and that's all friends thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it interesting and useful and you got some value out of it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing and why not leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video and in, in general just you know ask me how am i doing anyway and please don't forget to check this video over here which is going to tell you how to stabilize your footage using the lock-in stabilization which is fantastic i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourself bye bye